Recently, I made a video showing you the best event management plugins for WordPress, with my top pick being Sugar Calendar. Now, on that video, one of you from our lovely community commented that you'd actually like to see Sugar Calendar in action and how you would be able to customize a Sugar Calendar post to suit and fit your website more accurately. So let's do it. Let's build the perfect event calendar for your specific website customized for what you need. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my website, show you the design, and then show you how to match the majority of that using Sugar Calendar. And it is so much easier than you might be thinking it is. So this here is my website. So you can see the text style, you can see the colors. And a good example would be if we go across to say the bicycles page here, you've got this page. So this is what my pages look like. It is a red heading with a white base across this kind of off white or gray background. This is what my pages look like. So if we now head across to my WordPress admin dashboard and we find Sugar Calendar just here. Now there is of course a paid version of Sugar Calendar that's going to give you a lot more features. This is the free version and pretty much everything I'm going to show you today you can do with the free version. But I would strongly recommend checking out the paid. The features are a lot better. You can do a lot more. So hit the links down in the top pin comment or in the description to be able to get that at the best possible price. However, you can see that this is my events calendar as designed, and this is the sugar calendar back end. And I will show you an event I have already created. So I'm going to click here and go to edit. So this is an event that I've made. Okay. So you can see this and you can see that this, because it's in the classic editor, this doesn't look anything like what we're expecting to see or what we just saw from my website. The font is incorrect. It doesn't fit in with anything that I have done already. However, if we go and we look at this particular page, so let's just click on preview changes you will see that Sugar Calendar automatically makes the changes for me. So all of the fonts match in with my theme already. So anything I already have set as a theme guide for fonts, it's automatically going to apply when using Sugar Calendar. So you actually don't need to do anything to match up the fonts or even the layout and design when from what you're going to get off every single other page. So that's nice and easy, but we don't want to stop there. I do want to show you how to start to modify this just a little bit more. Now, as I just mentioned there, this is the classic editor on WordPress, which is completely fine. And it's how Sugar Calendar comes as default. However, if we go across to settings here, we can actually scroll down and we can change this to be the block editor. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to make this the block editor and we're going to save the settings. Now, when we go back to our event here and click on edit, you will notice that once it catches up with me, you have something that looks a little bit more like what you might anticipate from the page. That's because you're now using the blocks editor. And it means that you can do things like start to add elements in maybe a way that's just a little bit more intuitive or a little bit more user friendly because simply the blocks editor is. So let's do that. Let's go across to the block inserter. Let's search here for gallery. And then I'm just going to drag a gallery into this area right here. And then I'm going to select multiple items from my media library. So let's say in this gallery, I want to use these four items and we're going to create new gallery. I don't want captions for them. So I'm just going to insert and there we have it. So we have a gallery now attached to our page. So let's save that and let's go back and have a look at that particular page again and see what we've got. And this is now our page. We now have that gallery featured at the bottom, which fits in with what we're doing here. 
and you can continue to do this. Basically, the only limitation is your knowledge and your ability to adjust things in the blocks editor. Of course, you can do things like that in the classic editor, but I just find it's easier to do in the blocks editor, and I think most people do as well. For the sake of argument, let's say that if we click on here and we do want to change the font away from what's actually matching, we can click on it, come across to this right hand side into the styles, and then we have all of our typography. So we can change the size of that for no apparent reason and make it look insane. Or we could, let's go back over there. We can start to change the color. So let's make that red. As you can see, you're starting to adjust and amend those options to suit your needs. And then if for some reason we want to change the actual font, we can click on these three dots here, come down to font, and then we've got, as you can see, the default font, which is the default font for my theme, which is why it's working so well. But if I want to swap that out, I can. I can change it to other fonts that I have available to me. Nice and easy. Just to show you some of the other things that we can do, I've also added a countdown here. Again, just a block that I've added so people literally know exactly when this is going to happen. And um, we've got the gallery we added earlier and I've taken the sugar calendar block. There is a specific block on sugar calendar for adding your entire events calendar. So if you, if you have multiple events, they will all show up in this calendar so people can maybe find them and sign up to multiple events if they enjoyed or are interested in this one. Now, of course, some of you might not have got this far yet. You might not be editing your calendar because you still need to build your calendar. And if you want to know how to do that, the easiest way is by clicking this video right here.